Motivation, a friend motivated and guide to a year's aspirant, international motivational speaker, leadership tenor, CEO, coach, political strategist, and policy advisor. A comprehensive current for dedicated student. A comprehensive current for dedicated listening is very powerful. Before starting the video, I would like to request to please share, karein, subscribe, karein, like, karein, and subscribe. If you are not subscribed, you will be able to do it. You will be able to do it. You will be able to do it. Jeevan me sachi muskura hat de. Getting out of the guns, the germs and still crisis. So says the Hindu newspaper. Getting out of the guns, germs and still crisis. India's choices are clear. To be hold, to be bold and go on the rescue mission. Uh, do nothing and hope the situation resolve itself. This article was written by Praveen Chakravarti. India faces a guns, germs and still crisis. To borrow from the title, the J demands diamonds, crisis. A classic book on the revolution of a society, a nation, guns, germs, and the steel. The fates of the human society. There are Chinese guns on the borders. There are coronavirus germs in our bodies. There are steel makers and other business on the verge of the bankruptcy. Arguably, this is the greatest, gravest uh, confluence of the military, health, and economic crisis threatening our nation in more than a generation. Each of these would qualify as an independent large crisis by itself, warranting a specific resolution. The Chinese military threat calls for immediate and strategic action by our defense and foreign affairs establishment. The COVID-19 health epidemic is here to stay and needs constant monitoring by the health minister and local administration. The economic collapse is an enormous challenge that needs to be overcome with a prudent policy. A stand up and cargill parallel. The common threat Across this is that's a resolution that requires significant financial resources. Standing up to a military threat by a superpower never all will pose in the inevitable drain on the finances of the government. India's war against Pakistan in Kargil in 1999 provides hints of the financial burden of the military threat. India's defense expenditure in the war is sort of by the 20% of the previous year. It also forced the then, government to increase India's defense budget for the next financial year to 2.7% of the nominal GDP, the highest indicates. China is a far mightier power than Pakistan. In this phase of 20 Indian soldiers have been brutally killed and many more were injured by the Chinese army. A portion of India's land in Ladakh has been grabbed by China. Surely, India is bound to assert its rights, which will necessitate higher expenditure. India's defense budget has been Whittled, whittled down, whittled down, whittled down to just 2% of the GDP for the financial year 2021. China's defense budget is nearly four times larger. In all likelihood, the Chinese conflict will stretch central government finances by an additional one, two percentage points of GDP as India's steps of current threat and source of its defense preparedness, health care and economy. The health care pandemic has exposed India's woefully inadequate health infrastructure. The combined public health care, health expenditure of the states and the central government is in India in merely 1.5% of GDP compared to in China's 3% and America 9%. The COVID-19 epidemic is expected to linger for the another two years until suitable vaccine is available at large. There is no option other than to significant ramp of India's health expenditure. Many public health experts are of the opinion that the central government will need additional funds to of the equipment at least one percentage of GDP to continue the fight against COVID-19. It is no secret that extreme national lockdown has thrown India's economy into utter disarray. India's economy has four major drivers, people's spending on the consumption, government spending, investment and external trade. Spending by people is the largest contributor to India's economic growth every year. For every 100 in incremental GDP, 60 to 70 comes from the people's consumption spending. The lockdown set off people from their spending for two more full months, which will contract India's economy for the first time in nearly five decades regardless of a strong agriculture performance. Even prior to COVID-19, when the global economy was robust, India's trade levels had fallen from the 55% of nominal GDP in 2014 to 40% in 2020. Now, with the global economy in tatters, trade is not a viable alternative to upset the loss from consumption. Investment is also not a viable option at this stage since the demand for goods and services had fallen dramatically.